Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of LA Word Devotional. My name is Adam and thank you very much for just spending your time, your day, your evening with me as we look into God's truth, as we look into His Word. And, and you know, the amazing thing is, the amazing truth is, is that God's Word, because of His Son, Jesus Christ, there's life change. That's what happens when we give our life to Christ. And today, you know, I want to look at, at the scriptures. I'm going to look in the Old Testament. We're going to be looking at Acts 27. We're going to be looking at verses 21 through 22. And then we're going to be looking at Ecclesiastics. Uh, back in the New Testament, we're going to be looking at Ecclesiastics uh, chapter 4, verses 9 through uh, 10. Now, I want to, I want to start today by saying this, that this is something that Lord has laid on my heart for the last couple of days, and it's talking about encouragement and, and people who have made an impact uh, in your life. And so, uh, as I've been reading Acts, we're going to set up the, the confines of this. In Acts chapter 27, uh, verses 10, you know, they're in this boat. It's the Apostle Paul. He has a trial in Rome that he has to go to. He's in prison with 270 other people on this boat. And they got to sail all the way up the coast around the tip uh, of Italy to, to Rome for him to present himself uh, in this situation. So if you want to read furthermore on that situation, you're going to have to read Acts 23, 24 all the way on. Now with that being said, in Acts chapter 27, verse 10, basically Paul says, look man, let's let's sail around this way, let's go this route, because there's a northeastern wind, and what that was, it was a hurricane, and so Paul kind of knew what was going to happen, and they basically said, oh, a bunch of crap, yada, 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 yada. Now, what happens is, is Paul was right, and their boat's being hit both sides left right north east everything everything's going chaotic everything's going wrong and they throw off their food supplies they throw off uh, their cargo their their sails everything are basically just drifting along right and uh, you look in verse 20 basically all hope is lost you know you, you can only imagine like the thought is like look we're gonna die out here and see and so in verse 21 it says this after the men had gone a long time without food Paul stood up before them and said Men, you should have taken my advice not to sell from Crete. Then you would have spared yourselves this damage and loss. Verse 22, it says, But now I urge you to keep up your courage because not one of you will be lost. Only the ship will be destroyed. And I love that particular passage because you look at that and because in the midst of this chaotic situation, everything seems lost. All hope is gone. Paul stands up and says, you know what? The good news is this. We're all going to be saved. We're all going to be saved. We're all going to make it to our destination point. Bad news, we're going to lose the ship. Good news, we're all going to be together. Your lives are going to be spared. And if you look on in verses 23, you see why. Is it is that God uh, gave him a vision. God gave him an angel basically saying, hey, you're going to make it to this destination and these people are going to be with you. And so Paul had these encouraging words and made an impact on lives saying, look, we're going to be saved. We're going to be rescued. We're going to make it to our destination. And so today I want to talk to you all about who are the people who spoke truth into your life? Who are, the, who are the people, who are the men, or who are the women in your life that made a profounding impact on your life, that spoke encouragement into your life? You know, my challenge for you today, my charge for you all who are watching, take time out this week and show your appreciation by writing a letter writing a letter to the people who have made an impact in your life who have placed their fingerprint upon your heart the people that have come beside you and encouraged you to continue in your walk and your fellowship as you are led by Jesus Christ you know, I started that challenge today, and there's four individuals that came to, to my mind of, of how they molded 
my my character of who I am today. Everything from the time I was 19 until you know even even continuing on today. And so I took time out today and I wrote those letters. And even those letters don't do justice for what these people have endured, for what these people have done and invested in my life. But I'm thankful. So may you contemplate, maybe you think and pray about who are the people who have been Apostle Pauls? Who are the people who have been the Barnabas? Who are the people who have been encouragers in your life? Who've made an impact on you? And just to say, take time out and write him a letter saying, look, I want to say thank you. And these are the reasons why, that you have made such an impact on my life. And with that said, I want to look at Ecclesiastics chapter 4, verses 9 through 10. It says this, Two are better than one, because they have a good return for the work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Again, who are the people in your life that have helped you up, that have prayed over you, that have prayed with you, that have encouraged you, that have given you wisdom, that have given you counsel, that have given you guidance, that have discipled you, that have showed you what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ, who have made an impact on your life, have laid a fingerprint upon your heart. Who are those people? Let us pay homage to those people. Let us take just, what, 20 minutes to write a letter, if that? Let's take 20 minutes out of our week to write a letter to those people and say, Hey, I appreciate you. I thank you for what you have done for me in my life. My name is Adam. This is the LA Word Devotional. And my prayer is that this week that you take the time, ask God for him to bring forth to your mind the people that have impacted your life, the people who would encourage you, like the Apostle Paul in the boat. You know, the times in your life, you know, where everything seemed bleak and chaotic, like you were on the boat with all these other prisoners, and someone came along and encouraged you, spoke truth into your life and led you into a relationship with Jesus Christ, made an impact. Who are those people? I pray that you write those letters today and not not take this letter, you know, not, don't, don't take this and be like, oh yeah, I'll do that. But take this seriously. Take a block, carve out a block of time out of your week and write those letters. Thank you for watching LA Word Devotional.